year, the second Thursday of March is being celebrated as World Kidney Day. The whole idea of celebrating World Kidney Day is basically to create awareness among all sections of the society about kidney disease. The World Kidney Day celebration started from the year 2006 and it is continuing uh, till date and the awareness is uh, growing and that has been the amazing effect of uh, World Kidney Day celebrations and this is celebrated all over the world on the same day. A lot of activities are planned starting from uh, webinars, then awareness uh, talks, then cyclothons, walkathons, etc. are being planned in various parts of the world just to create awareness. Every year there is a theme uh, which is being used for campaigning for that whole year. And in 2022, the theme is Kidney Health for All. And the reason uh, that we have chosen uh, Kidney Health for All as the theme for this year is that there is a big knowledge gap that occurs in every level, starting from the nephrologists, then the physicians, then the nursing care, then the patients, patients attenders, the general public, and the policy makers in all. So every level there is a knowledge gap. So the whole idea is to try and see if we can actually close these knowledge gaps so that people receive a better care uh, in terms of kidney disease. Now when we talk about kidney disease, we predominantly focus on chronic kidney disease. And we all know that chronic kidney disease is a disease that is progressive, that is not reversible and that has no cure. And the major causes of chronic kidney disease is diabetes and hypertension, which we all know that everybody has. But what we do not know is that 1 in 10 uh, people in the world do suffer from some form of chronic kidney disease. Now, what are the problems if we don't identify chronic kidney disease at an early stage? Uh, there are two major uh, um, uh, drawbacks here. One, if we don't identify it early, the disease is going to progress to a stage where we call as kidney failure, where the only option for the patient is dialysis and kidney transplantation. Number two, the moment chronic kidney disease sets in, it affects the functioning of all the other organs of the body. and uh, the main organ that I always look at is the cardiovascular system. So this causes a lot of problems in terms of healthcare costs than quality of life. So we call that in medical terms as morbidity and it also causes premature loss of life which we call it as mortality. So in order to reduce this morbidity and mortality, we need to identify chronic kidney disease earlier and then treat uh, the various effects of chronic kidney disease on the other organs and the overall health of an individual so that we avoid a lot of premature deaths and uh, morbidity which also adds to health care uh, costs. So this year the whole idea is to create an awareness about the complex functions of the kidneys, how it contributes to maintaining the health of the body in everybody. So we basically want to ensure that everybody uh, adopts good practices so that they keep their health, kidneys and the general health because of that in a uh, very good condition. So that is probably the first message that I would give. So how to keep your uh, amazing kidneys healthy? One is to take adequate amounts of fluid. So we always tell that we need to drink at least eight glasses of water. Then if somebody has diabetes, the diabetes has to be kept under control with all the possible medications that are there. If somebody has high blood pressure, the high blood pressure also has to be kept under control. So which means it has to be less than 140 over 90 millimeters of mercury. Then somebody has to maintain an active life in terms of physical activity and this will lead on to a healthy body weight. If somebody is a smoker, he has to avoid smoking or quit smoking altogether. 
do not indulge in taking over the counter medications especially the painkillers and do not miss appointments with doctors so these are some of the strategies that everyone can adopt and lead a very healthy life which can help the kidneys uh, stay healthy and as an individual also stays healthy because the kidneys uh, are healthy the next thing that i want to suggest is that we will have to do our bit for the concept of climate change i think everybody is now talking about climate change climate change also has its effects on the kidneys especially the heat so we are all told that the normal temperature that we are living in is increasing day by day and this is something that we need to avoid because heat has its own effect on the kidneys and we have seen a lot of people suffering from dehydration leading on to an acute kidney injury and recurrent such attacks will finally lead on to what we call it as uh, chronic kidney disease so we will have to do our part to ensure that this uh, climate change does not occur by adopting good practices and these are probably the messages that we would like to give out on this world kidney day so let us uh, adopt healthy practices keep our kidneys healthy and as a result be healthy and this is probably going to be very useful for the society at large thank you